been over 220 days of Russia's war in Ukraine and Ukraine's offensive is pressing ahead in regions that Russia claims to have annexed. President Zelensky has said that forces have retaken or rather reclaimed more than 500 square kilometers of territory in the southern Kherson region since October 1st. This essentially implies that Putin's plan to annex certain areas of Ukraine is not going as planned, indicating that a Russian victory is a distant dream at the moment. Putin's birthday was also a low-key affair which was yesterday. And on World Teachers Day on October 5th, Putin announced changes to his partial mobilization drive, saying that he would delay drafting additional categories of students, including those enrolled at accredited private universities and certain postgraduate students. Meanwhile, shocking visuals have also arrived to the fore of Russia's bridge to Crimea being blown up. Apparently, a truck laden with explosives was used to blow up this Crimean bridge. Now, let me also tell you that CNN News 18 is one of the few channels which have somebody covering this war from ground zero. And to do that for CNN News 18 is my colleague Sanjay Suri reporting live from Kiev. Sanjay, to address the following, uh, let's also talk about the latest position on the ground level. What does the bridge explosion in Crimea mean for Russia? Yes, this Crimea bridge explosion is a dramatic reminder that this fight is now being taken more and more uh, into Russia and into areas that Russia has annexed or claimed to have annexed. Now, this is a deep strike and it comes after, uh, we can recall, the strikes on the Russian air base in Crimea in August, that Ukraine claimed responsibility for. Now, a senior Ukrainian official called this a birthday gift to Putin, and Russia has said such reactions are testimony to the terrorist nature of the Kiev government, as it says, of course. But this is a hit on Putin himself. It was Putin who inaugurated this bridge in 2018, and functionally, it has been the most critical supply line to Russian forces in Ukraine. Now, that supply line takes a massive blow. But beyond that, this is a symbolic blow to Russia's claimed annexation of Crimea and to the other areas of Ukraine. The question is now what Russia does next. We certainly can expect some uh, retaliation. Putin could take desperate measures right. and desperate could mean nuclear. Right. It's interesting that you mention the word nuclear. How real is the nuclear threat now that a day after Joe Biden, Zelensky has also stated that Putin is preparing his people for a nuclear war? With nuclear, we'll never know until it's too late and then maybe we will not either. But without doubt, the threat is serious. Biden said this is the most serious since 1962. And then a day later, Zelensky said that but the Russians are preparing their people for a nuclear war. So that's now three presidents, the two at war and the third who matters more than any other, saying that the nuclear threat is serious. In the face of that, we must believe that it is. It's a sinister reminder that we had from Putin the other day that it was the US that crossed the threshold on the use of a nuclear weapon and it would therefore not be Russia were it to come to that. It is coming towards that, certainly, and who doesn't hope it stops short? A report in the Times that we saw spoke of a train carrying nuclear weapons being taken to the front. Putin has said that Russia can use all available means to protect Russia, and he has said that these annexed areas are now Russia forever. And we can figure out what that could mean. Right. Many thanks to you, Sanjay, for bringing us all those ground zero details. And with that, let's now shift.